okay, you've had the big email, you've had the one like this, and you probably looked at it and thought, oh my God, I'll read that tomorrow. Don't read it tomorrow. <laughs> take a little bit of time, please. Just take a bit of time, read it, digest it, and then you can throw any questions my way. Now, it's that long because it's pretty in-depth. This is a big change. You know, we've gone from COVID struck, bang, panic, how am I going to get this business up and running online, to now, it's like, how do I make that transition? But not just a transition, how do I mix it up so we have a bit of everything to suit everyone and it's been a hard slog so i'm hoping that email has answered pretty much most of the questions but i thought what i'd do is rather than send another long email i just quickly run through some of the questions that i've been asked and do a little q a so um how far in advance can you book classes just book for the month Okay, I'm actually think I'm going to go on and take off October and November so it doesn't confuse you. So literally, make your payment. You don't have to wait until you've made your payment because some people will pay, um, have asked they can pay cash, that's fine. Some people will be paying backs, but just make your payment um, at the beginning of the month, in that first week of the month. And you can book classes then for that month, but you know, maybe just for the week, you know, maybe don't go nuts to begin with. And the only other thing I ask is that you make sure you cancel. If you can't make it, you generally will get a feel for that couple of hours before. Um, because if there's a waiting list, we need to allow other people the opportunity to jump on. Um, so that is one thing I really want you to try and stick to. And I want you to get used to this booking system because we need to run it so that obviously when we move everything indoors, um, that we're up and running with this. And it's kind of no more kind of I don't know what I'm doing kind of stuff. So... Um, all of the bookings are done through the website and the website is at the minute being updated. So the classes are all there to book on the website, but you'll find there's some other information that's not relevant. Just ignore that. So don't forget, choose your class pass. It's only the people that are currently doing the online stuff that needs to email Jane with their choice for September. And that's just so she can work out your first payment because it's going to be a bit tricky. Anybody else who's just coming on board now, just choose what pass you want, make your payment and then you're ready to go. You don't need to email us and let us know because we can see on the bank statements who's paid and who hasn't. Um, and yes, and then you will, once you've, once you've emailed Jane guys who have been doing the online, she'll let you know what your payment is and then from the 1st of October, then you crack on as, as everybody else is. Everybody has access to the online studio. The other question was, if I come, you know, if I come onto the online, do I have to do that class live with you or have access to it later? Yeah, that's how the online works. It stays as it is. And if you're there to do a live class with me, fine. If you'd miss it, you can do it at a later stage. You've got access to that hub. Um, as soon as anybody came comes off online, then you, you, can't, you can't save the workouts. It literally is only access if you're in there. Does that make sense? So everybody gets access to it. If you want access to it, you just need to ask for the link and we can send that to you and pop you in the group. And that's how it works. Easy, yeah? Hope. Um, uh, what else are the confirmation of classes? So ClassFit generally, generally will um, send you a confirmation. When you book, it should send you a confirmation email. Um, and any class changes I make along the way, you will get, if you're booked into that class, you will get a, a little email sent to you just to notify you. So it's quite efficient, really. Um, it will also allow me, when you come to class, I will literally check you in on my phone as you come in um, so that we don't get a, a sea of people queuing to sign in. The only people that we need to put pen to paper is if you're paying to campaign as you go, quickly sign in that way um, or if you're somebody new or need to give us an email. Otherwise, it's pretty, pretty straightforward. You'll come in, you'll get your class pass, punch it done what you need to do there and there'll be hand sanitizing stations before you then go into class. You have your two meter square marked out for you. So it's all pretty, pretty straightforward. It's just, we've got to get used to this change. We've got to get used to it. Um, hand washing facilities also will be around. Um, so I think that's it, apart from the passes. The class passes, I think one other question was that passes are valid for outdoor and indoor classes. They are valid for everything. OK, so you don't need to worry about that. So, everybody, I really hope you're going to stay on board with this. Um, I'm like this at the minute. Is this going to work? Isn't this going to work? So, you know, let's get used to the booking system. Of course, any other questions do come back to me and I will do another one of these Q&As if I need to. Um, otherwise, I'll just come back to you and answer you um, individually. Fedra is helping me with a lot of the admin now as well as Jane. So any booking queries... Um, 
you email tbfbookings at gmail.com but I will I will send that out um, well I've put a little note here on the email for that anyway all right everybody have a wonderful bank holiday Saturday's boot camp is on 8 30 with Diana I'm not here this weekend so do go and join her she'll be in Whiteleaf Park at 8 30 um, then we have all of the online timetable is running for the start of September so that includes so if you want access to that request it and then you can get access for the Tuesday and the Wednesday and the Thursday uh, we've got our two outdoor sessions Tuesday evening at 6 30 Thursday morning at 7 30 and then Friday the 4th of September we kick in with a brand new timetable so your passes are valid from the 1st of September guys so you can gain access to the online hub from then if you want it you let us know um, as soon as you let us know we'll send you the link all right makes sense I hope so have a wonderful bank holiday. Looks like we've got some sunshine. And I will see you when I see you soon, I hope. Take care. Bye.